So this quick video is going to show you how to change um, an answer that you put on a quiz after students have already answered all of the questions, um, especially if you mark the wrong answer. So all I would do is open back up my quiz, um, this is my test quiz, the colors in the rainbow, and then you want to go to your answer key for that question that you incorrectly marked. And then you just want to go through and change your points and go ahead and click done. And then when I go back over to my responses, um, when I go to the individual, so the summary, like my summary here doesn't show the correct um, Thing, but if I go back over to individual, you'll notice that now every student, if they marked red or yellow, they got that wrong. Um, so all you do is change it and then the summary will adjust. Um, if you click this create spreadsheet, that is where you're going to be able to summarize um, your scores and get percentages from your scores easily. So you'll notice that it's changed. And now there's only four points, so it will adjust as you adjust your form. Um, what you can do is you can click and insert. So I'm gonna I right click on this and I'm gonna insert a column to the left, and I want to say percent. And then I would just say equals this column divided by four. Um, if you need to turn it into a percent, then times 100. And the times in um, Excel and Sheets is the asterisk. So then you can see, and if I take my plus sign and drag it down, it'll give me the percentage for each student. So it displays the out of four here, but this is not, if you click on the cell, you'll notice that it's only the actual point value that they got. So that's why you'd um, divide by 4 and multiply by 100. Um, let me know if you have issues with that, but that's a quick way where you can get percents. And then the other nice thing about this is when the student's name is in here, you can go up to um, highlight your whole sheet and you can go up to data and click sort range. And then you want to say it has a header row. And then in there you can choose to sort by student's last name or first name. Um, whichever way you have your grade book set up, so then that way you don't have to look um, all over for the students' names. Uh, you can also sort two ways, so you could sort by period first and then by um, student name if you had the students put in that information. Um, if you don't have that information in, obviously that's not going to help you. Um, so those are a couple of pointers. Give it a try. Let me know if you have any issues.